Good morning, everyone. I got in at like half four this morning and went to bed at five, and it's now nine o'clock. I was up at eight. So I've had a few hours sleep, um, was at a night game last night. So I wanted to talk to you guys. <laughs> also, apologies for the relaxed format. Um, about night vision, but not in the context of what device or what to get or what not to get. Just want to sort of say, is it worth it? And that's probably the question that you should put before all of the, well, what do I get? Do I get Gen 3? Do I get this? We've got literally tens of hours of conversation and videos that talk specifically around devices and what type and generations and those sorts of things. But overall, overall, is it worth getting? And so I was playing last night with a really good mate of mine, uh, Mr. M, most of you uh, know Mock, King of the Cats. Um, and Matt has sort of had night vision and he sold it and he stepped away and he's sort of now come back to air so often. Last night he was running out literally a, a brand new gun that he's built, uh, one mag in the gun, three across his chest and some basic comms. And so he was in a position last night where he was out on the ground with like a real, let's say for example, an entry level set of kit. And uh, I was out on the ground with what I would probably class as like a very high-end set of kit in regard to airsoft. So, you know, dual tube, night vision, and a gun that is, um, you know, fully upgraded with all the bells and whistles, all the toys, right? Now, admittedly, last night was absolute slaughter. I had a blast. And I really wanted to show you guys some of the helmet cam footage, but the helmet cam is actually dead. Um, and I think that died just for the volume of rain last night. There was torrential downpour for about an hour of last night's game. Uh, and so it's a shame that I couldn't sort of splice in some of the kills because last night was incredible in regards to just sheer body count. Now, the way that it was structured last night, just for context, there was four of us, me, Jack, Mott and John, uh, against 13 other players. On those, out of those other players, there were guys with dual tube night vision, there was guys with single tube night vision, there was guys with psionics, and there was guys with thermal. So they stacked the cards against us because uh, we really did want to get stuck in last night. Now, admittedly, I got to the high ground. I know the Scar's got really, really good legs, got eyes on, uh, quite far out with the night vision and was able to just drop people like crazy. I think within the first 20 minutes, I must have killed maybe 15 people um, without any, any taking any hits. And that's because I was moving around a lot, using the shadows and, and really trying to stay as, as hidden within the containers and within the environment as possible with taking a few people down, then moving or, or, or swapping sides of the site. So getting back to the question then, uh, an evaluation of, of kind of speaking to Matt and, and then also having my own opinion. Like, I, I love playing at night. I love it. It's so much fun. And it's such a different way of approaching the game that is airsoft in the dark than you do in the day. And uh, it's, it's indescribable the feeling you get when you can just see someone you know whether that's through night vision or whether that's not and they're just leaning out to pie corner and then you're there you're in their presence right and and in the daylight you wouldn't have been able to put yourself in that position whether that's through other people seeing you or not or just being a creepy you know sneaky bastard um having that drop on someone is just crazy it, it, it gives you a rush like you just don't get uh that you don't just get during the day it's that capability of using the darkness, using the stealth, using those darker lines through the site that will enable you to get up on someone. Um, and so, you know, when I started pushing forward uh, and we had to, the, this is the, the, the game had been flipped over 
I'd taken the high ground again, I'd cleared all the way through the containers, taken out about four or five players that had been in the containers uh, and pushed right to the front of the second floor of the containers. Me and Matt had comms on and so we were constantly communicating and, and that's another really important factor, probably over everything else, you know, that you can communicate with the people around you. So I was communicating with Matt, I told him where I was and he managed to actually push up in front of me uh, and you know he had no night vision and anything like that and just absolutely bodied like he absolutely bodied you know took two corners of a container you know both sides of the container were being used by the enemy to go down so he was jumping between because i had the high ground i could sort of guide him in on a few people um but he absolutely stacked and at that point this kind of bulb went on in my head and thought yeah these are great right you know, and people always bang on, oh, well, you yeah, we need to get night vision, I need to get night vision, I need to get night vision. I think to myself, do you? Like, do you? Now, I say that from a perspective of, you know, I've played with nods, you know, good, good level of, of, of night vision since 2015 is when I got my, my Gen 3s. Um, and I've played with them since then and prior to that sort of 2013, 2014, I had Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 2 Plus. Um, but I've always enjoyed playing under night vision and I've spent a lot of time also playing without night vision uh, at night and I do like playing at night. Now, I've got very used to the comfort of nods and, and there's, there's no doubt about that, I have. But in evaluation of what me and Matt both achieved on that night, Matt was able to go out confidently in the dark and body a load of people without carrying around, one, the massive expense of night vision, and two, the worry of having the kit as well. You know, if they break, um, for example, catastrophically break, that's seven, that's seven thousand pounds. So for all of you guys that are gonna start crying, oh, I can get them for three grand, uh, whatever, I paid 6,800 for those, uh, for these units. These are from Baller Tactical. Uh, and they've got the, 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 the highest spec tube in, uh, the 2,000 FOM Photonis tubes. Uh, people are, oh, well, where's the other money? Uh, I put 100 into lift filters, so I paid like 40 quid each for the lift filters for the top. Um, and then you've got the mount and everything for them as well, which is roughly 100 quid, right? So, so you know, to put them on a helmet, you're looking at about seven grand. Just so there's a lot of money sat on that lid that you and that I am cautious of. I whacked them uh, on a tree branch, as you can see, that's scuffed over the top of my helmet. So you can see all the bits of leaf in here. Hopefully, you can see that. And I am worried about them. You know, they do worry me that they'll get shot out, they'll get damaged, they'll get broken, the mount will break, I'll tread on them, whatever, I'll drop them down some stairs. Whereas when you don't have any of that complexity, you can just quite freely go out. Um, you know, and then you need the kit to go with it, right? So you're gonna need a, a laser aiming device. I use the purse, but whatever your, your choice is. I've then got my torch here. I've got the Surefire Vampire. Uh, I've got that white light and IR capability on here as well. This is super scuffed up too. Um, definitely, definitely left some marks on this gun from the weekend, needs a good clean. But, uh, in grandeur, you've got to spend a lot of money here to have that night vision set up, you know, that, that I have specifically set up for this. And yet, yeah, I, I clapped a load of people. I had the most fun, the most fun of seeing people way out at distance, putting my IR laser on them, ding, 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 people taking their hits and then returning to their, their, their spawn. Uh, and obviously Matt at those distances, because he's, he's using his naked eye, uh, he wasn't able to do that, but at the same time, he chose to not be on white light constantly and to creep around and to get very, very close to people. And that's the confidence that Matt has in being able to snap onto someone and put some rounds onto them. Uh, but, you know, Matt isn't fucking eight grand in a hole with kit and was still able to go out and comfortably go out and shoot people. So when people say to me, oh, yeah, I need to get nods, I need to get nods, I'm like, how often do you play at night? This, this probably the core question, right, for me. If, uh, if you don't mind having whatever that sum is, say six grand, whatever, seven grand uh, for you, sat on a shelf and you use it twice a year, then you're cool with that, then fine, right? Some people are definitely in financially different positions than others. For me, 
I would feel guilty if I used these twice a year. I would. I, part of me would think, you know, that's a substantial level of money sat there that that isn't used as much as it should be. Um, and with night games like Splatoon have, you know, they really do give you the opportunity to play once a month for like six hours at night. You know, sometimes these the, this event starts at nine, it'll finish at two, three o'clock in the morning. Um, it allows a real big period of time. So if you're doing them monthly, like, yeah, the investment into night vision is there. But if you are going to do two or three of them a year, then then is it? And is it worth it? And and people always feel like, oh, I need to get the best nods possible. And, you know, like, you know, me and Richie have been very fortunate to have the devices that we have and invest money and then actually get good money back on the investments that we've made through through buying kit. Uh, and then top it up, and then buy something else, and top it up. You know, I didn't just go and slap my money out for these. I sold a load of other kit, as you guys might well know, uh, and I also sold my other night vision. So by the time I'd done that, I actually only had to put a couple of grand into these to get these. So for me, financially, it actually wasn't as bad of a burden for the fact that I've been using these nods for years. My other nods, and I've had other kit laying around here that I haven't used you know, and, and bags and other bits of kit that I just got rid of that I wasn't using anymore and actually put a significant contribution towards paying for these night vision. Um, so I, I understand that this is a long video and I'm just trying to sort of expel the things from my head here because I think it is really important. Um, you know, there are definitely people not in the financial position to be able to go and get nods uh, from, you know, a, a £1,500 set of um, mono or, or Sonics, uh Pro and use that or, or, or whatever, right? From the base level all the way through to, you know, go and get yourself a set of DTV NGs for fucking 30 grand or whatever they sell them for. So, you know, we understand that not this isn't for everyone. But when people say to me, oh, yeah, yeah, I need to get nods. I, my first question is always why? You know, and I think last night's a massive testament to people jumping the gun from the need of kit when they probably could have a ton of fun just letting go and going out there and trusting their skill and focusing on their capability of being able to actually just work at night well. And I think when you get to that point of being really, really good out on the ground with no nods, when you do get nods, you are going to body. And sad to say that I know people personally, and I'm not going to say any names, but we've definitely spoke about this, that have gone, got their jewels, put their jewels on their head, thought, yeah, I'm fucking invincible, walked out onto the ground, not been light checking to see actually how bright it is with your nods up, walked out and got slapped. And they're like, what the fuck am I doing wrong? And they're walking through a contra container and they're creeping and peeking and doing this, thinking that they're invisible. And then they're getting shot through the window. They've got Tracer coming in at them. They're like, how the fuck is this person? Like, what, is, what am I doing wrong? You know, and I, I, these are people that have, have, have spoke to me or they've spoke to Richie and said, mate, I, I went out and got bodied with my nods on. You know, because they are not a cloak. They are not um, something that will enable you to just creep around willy-nilly. You have to use the shadows. Even last night, it was like a quarter moon last night and it was bright. Like, I could navigate through dense covered woodland with my nods up. That's how bright it, it, it is, you know, ambient light, natural lighting, um, you know, the colours that people wear. You know, I was wearing black last night. Black, notoriously, under nods, looks white. Um, even if it's IR treated, it looks white, so it looks like shell suit material. Guys that have got camo, guys that have got hoodies on, guys have got this on. You know, you, when you see a very hard edge, that you can identify a pattern of light down, so whether that's natural light or not, you see straight lines. Your eyes are just drawn to that hard edge where you can see moonlight. Then when you see anything, even a little elbow or something, a shoulder, a knee, just beginning to break that hard edge, naturally your eye will pick it up. Now, a lot of people's instant reaction if you're not using nods is to white light the fuck out of that corner the more experienced player will be more patient. And what they'll try and do is get their optic aligned roughly to where that position of that person is. So as they begin to gather confidence, they're gathering confidence, then they take that step out and expose the whole body, bam, they get slapped. And they're like, what the fuck did I get hit from? You know, 
you don't know that someone's watching that corner. That could be from a position anywhere on the site, but your eyes can naturally do that quite well, even in really, really dark environments. Now, the one benefit to NVGs, hand on heart, where these have actually been really helpful for me, is when you're in a building and it's uber, uber dark. There's small ambient, windows are open, whatever, but it's dark to the point where I've stepped into a room smaller than the area that I'm filming in right now, and there has been other people in that room that do not know I'm there. That's, that's where they are beneficial, because you can definitely see them and they can't see you. I've walked into a corner of a building and I've seen someone hunched into a corner like this with his gun facing straight down. You can see the look on their face that they are using every sense other than their eyesight because it's that dark. With the idea that someone's going to walk in there with a white light on, pop their head around a corner or be lighting their feet up or something, and that person's going to then get the jump on them. Now, when I had my night vision on, to be completely honest, I put a couple of shots in their legs. Um, from you know this tight of an angle, the room was so small that if I'd have brought my gun up, it would have been in their face. So I've just gone ding, ding, ding in their legs and then stayed back against the wall and then let them exfil. Um, to what point, obviously, they've put a red torch on and they've walked out of the building. This was at Stanter. That's where they are beneficial because the alternative for someone is just to presume that someone is in that room and every room you're going to go in and splash with a little bit of light with the, you know, if you've got no night vision on, with the preemptive capability that you're going to shoot someone. So, you know, that's where they do come into their own nods. But deep down for someone that plays airsoft, and I, I you know, this isn't me, me, me trying to advertise or not advertise really, it's really hard to say whether they're worth it. And for me, they are because the amount I play and the amount of night vision stuff, but for every single person, I just don't know. And I think if you want to have that deep level investment, you need to ask yourself, how many times are gonna, you know, am I going to use this a year? And how bothered am I that if I put them in a box uh, and I put that box away in the safe, that I don't use them until February next year, that I'm bothered that I've got six, seven, eight, 10, 15 grams worth of kit sat in a box in the, in the safe. You know, does that bother you? And it's a tough one. It's really, really tough. Um, you know, we've banged on about all of the different nods that you can get. If you, you know, if you do want to go and pick these up, obviously, you know, we've got, I've got a review video of them on the channel. Um, but I think when I see people like Matt, who's an experienced player, go out body with little, you know, little to minimum kit, um, it makes me really wonder how many guys are rolling out there with nods that probably don't need to, uh, and how many people would be so much more confident at night if they stripped away all of their assets and then just went out there and, and played at night more. And I think this is the thing with Matt now, is he's got you know a new revived level of confidence in his capability at night. And I think much more people should have that as well because what that will instill into you that when you do go to a Sterling um, and Sterling say, right boys, 11 o'clock at night, get your shit, we're going out, that people clam up and they're like, fuck, you know, I'm gonna get smashed by people with nods. And that's not always the case. Um, I've been had my ass handed to me by people with no white light at all. If someone's just caught me slipping um, and managed to put a few rounds into me, well done Fabio. Uh, my bum is still very sore uh, and I've also been smashed by people that I've you know pied a corner they've strobed they've seen either a reflection off the torch or a reflection off my kit and they have lit the windows up to the point where I can't move upon that they've pr approached 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 suppressed 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 to the point where I literally can't get out of the container this happened last night uh, I had rounds coming in through one window and from the doorway so I literally couldn't move between the two uh, and at that point, I knew that people were beginning to come. Luckily enough, Jack, the fucking legend, uh, managed to cut an angle and take two of the guys out that were suppressing the windows for me to sort of fall back a little bit. Um, thanks, Jack. Uh, but, you know, it does happen. It's just a really, really tough question, and, and it's not one that I can answer for everyone. But please don't feel like that 
that is the answer for everything, you know, and that, oh, I'm not playing at night until I've got nods. Uh, I spent a lot of time playing at night without nods. Richie spent a lot of time playing at night without nods. We weren't gifted these day one. Um, and there's something that you need to do. You know, I highly advise everyone, book onto the next platoon. I will be there. You can have a look at the nods, you can whatever. But go and enjoy it. Play at night, build your confidence. You know, speak to the people around you. Don't feel like you go there and clam up. You know, the best thing that you can do is go there, talk to people, hear other people's experiences, find out where the rest of your team was. If you blew on blue someone, talk to each other about the contact. Um, if you then take someone out and you, you can engage with who that was, talk to, what did you see? Like, how did you engage me? What was giving me away? Like, feel free when those breaks happen to bomb up and walk around to people and say, oh, was you on that container? Was you on that container? Was you on, oh yeah, yeah, that was me. How, how did you see me? Like, I, I got rounds from you, I, I had no idea. Like, those things will help you become more proficient at night. So, are they worth it? For me, yes. For me, yeah. I love them, I get the usage out of them. You know, for me, it was an expenditure on top of other expenditures over the years, so it wasn't like a hard hit for me. Um, and I absolutely love playing at night. It's my, it's my absolute, you know, goal in life is just to play airsoft at night. I fucking love it. Absolutely love it. You know, uh, all of the Sterling guys know exactly where I stand with, you know, I'll do recce stuff during the day. I'll go and lay in a hole, get eyes on target. I'll do all the hard bumps. I don't care as long as I get to go out at night with my nods on, um, you know, and events like Splatoon are doing are perfect for you to go and dial your kit in and to feel comfortable at night. So, are they worth it? If you're gonna play a lot and you've got the money to invest 100%, these are fucking awesome. And this particular unit in itself is also very, very good. It's a very, very good unit. I've spoke about this a few times before. I'm not gonna go into a massive review of this, but this is um, the Argus 1431. It's a 31-esque uh, upper body and connectors down to the main body tubes. These are PVS-14 rear eyepiece and a PVS-14 front eyepiece. So it means you've got a really big rear eyepiece. So it means you can still see through it really well when you've got your iPro on. Um, they run on a AA battery, which is great because they're way cheaper than CR123As. They've got diopter adjustment as well, um, or pupillary adjustment, something like that. It's these little screws on the side, which means you can adjust them in and out. Like DTVNGs don't have that. Um, which is dumb why they don't I don't know I have no idea so it means you can't close them in too far uh, they've got a lemo pack for when they bring out the external battery packs you'll be able to run it off an external battery pack um, not that you need to worry I mean I've had a battery in here for months and I've used them a ton um, really good ocular adjustment you can get them nice and sharp this is a really really good unit yeah they're not cheap but no night vision's cheap um, so you know for me yeah it's worth it for everyone no if you do want to go and play more at night go play more at night and then make your decision because you might find that you are a fucking jedi without nods and it gives you a very low bar of entry in regards to cost and it also means you've got less to worry about put your comms in put your baseball cap on go fuck people up so i know this has been a long video and and i haven't really come to a conclusion for everyone but don't feel like that's the be all and end all of going out at night Go out at night, be the fucking Jedi, um, enjoy yourself, and if you fancy coming to Splatoon, the next night game, book on, come and say hi. Right guys, have a good day, peace.